as you can see in the Torah, last week we read, two days ago, that Batya she called the baby that she found she called him Moshe but he had more names he had the name of Victor he had the name of Bisoho. He had all kinds of names, but Hashem decided to leave him the name Moshe. Why Moshe? We'll see soon why. But it sounds like she knew what his job will be. If you know the, La the Lashon HaKodesh, she should have, have called him Nimshe, not Moshe. Nimshe means I pulled him from the water. Moshe, he is pulling other people from the water. So he was pulled or he is pulling. At the time that she took him out from the water. How is she supposed to call him? Who knows? Who knows Ibu over here? Nobody knows Ibu. Okay. Mashach. Huh? Mashach. Nimshe. Yes. Nimshe. Instead, what she call them? Moshe. Moshe. Maze, what does it mean, Moshe? To dry out? To, to dry out? What? To draw out, yes. So she gave him a wrong name? I think in a way he saved her. Isn't that what happened? No. Meaning she pulled him out, but no? But she pulled him. But he cried, Shemo Moshe, ki minamai meshitiu. I'm calling him Moshe because I pulled him from the water. Wrong interpretation. If you pull him, you call him Nimshe. If he will pull himself out by himself, so then he can call himself Moshe. Oh, Meaning, maybe she knew. But he knew what this baby came to the world for and she gave him the right name Moshe it means I'm giving you a name I'm giving I'm giving you the koach to pull other people and that's made Moshe who he, who he is he had the koach to pull Am Israel out of Egypt and to carry them also in the, in the desert. All this came from his name. I'm sorry, Rabbi, I missed the beginning. Whose name are you talking about? Moshe Rabbeinu. Moshe. Thank you. Now you have to understand that every name that you're calling, it can, it can mean good and it can mean also no good.
Depends what you're gonna do with that. If you remember the first shiur I told you, the word Mashiach Begimatria is 358. The Nachash also is 358. So either you can be Mashiach, either you can be the Nachash. Every name is the same thing. Esav, 376. The word shalom, peace, also is 376. Hashem did it on purpose like this. Either you're going to go here or either you're going to go there. In the middle, you're going to be miserable. Do you know what Shama means in Hebrew? Over there. Here. Shin Mem Hey. What does it mean? Over there. Over there. Mm, yeah, there's another Here. interpretation. To Here. listen. There. Heard. How about Shama? Rabbi, can you repeat the second word? Shmama. Quiet. Midbar Shemama. Quiet. What? Is it quiet? It's like nothing, like nothing in there. Very good. Empty. Empty. Empty, exactly. So there is a verse in Tehillim. If somebody has a, a Tehillim, you can open it up and and help me. The Tehillim, Perek Mem Vav, 46. Pasuk Chet, verse number eight. Lechu Chazu, Mifalot Hashem. Go see what Hashem did. Asher Sam Shamot Ba'aretz. Shamot. The Gemara says, Amar Rabbi Elazar, Al Tikre Shamot, Ela Shemot. What's the difference? Well, can you repeat the line again, please? Which line? The Shemot I've just read. Lechu Chazu. Lechu Chazu Mifalot Hashem. You can write the Pasuk. Teilim Mem Vav, Pasuk Chet. Lechu, go, go out. Chazu and see. Mifalot Hashem, what Hashem is doing. Asher Sam, that he placed Shamot Ba'aretz. Shamot, meaning empty. Empty. That's what Hashem did? Empty? Amar Rabbi Elazar, al tikre Shamot, ela Shemot. Names. What does he want to say? Now, one of the klalot, one of the curses in the Torah, the Samti Yatrem Leshama Velishnina. 
Hashem says, I will empty you out with everything. I'll send you to exile empty. That's called Shama. Shin Mem Hey. How do you write Moshe? Mem Shin Hey. Mem Shin Hey. Isn't it the same letters? Right. What? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah, but the first, right? Yeah. Moshe had everything inside. Shama is emptiness. Meaning in with the Shem Moshe, you can be Moshe or you can be nobody. Same name. So my parents can come to me and say, you told me to call Moshe and see what happened. When the Chinuch is not good, so Moshe will become Shama, emptiness. Your son can be Mashiach, or can be the Nachash. Same numbers. Either you can be Asav, or you can be Shalom. Same thing. Also, Shin Mem Hei. Yeah, let's go back to Shin Mem Hey. How do you write Hashem? Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem, right? Hey Shin Mem Sophie. Hey Shin Mem. Mem Sophie, but it's Mem, right? Moshe Shama. Hashem. Everything is from Hashem. So listen to one of the commentary on the Torah. Every neshama that coming from there to the body, Hashem send with her another thing that call a klipa, that's the pill. And this call Nefesh, the Nefesh of Behemit, you're becoming like a, like an, this is why a baby is like an animal. And it's coming from something that we call a pill, a klipa that call Noga. So every person has a, a name. One is an angel Kodesh. And this is the name of the Neshama that Hashem put in his parents' brain. And he has a name that coming from the Sitra Akhra, from the other side And this we call it a klipa, a pill. Like I told you, Moshe is Shem Shel Kodesh. And if the child will not be in Kodesh, he will come a Shama. 
from the Sidra Akhra, from the side of the Satan. You can see the word El, okay? Vashem Elohim Emet Er Lo Yanum Velo Ishan. What does it mean, Er? Ein Reish. What is it? Awake, awake. Awake, right? How do you write Ra? I am Reish. I am Reish. No, I'm sorry. Reish, I am. Reish, Aleph. Yes. Exactly the opposite. Right. You can be air, awake, or you can be ra, evil. Father, well, I can ask a quick question. Yes. Uh, when the Rav said klipa is like, is the peel, like, like the peel, like of a fruit, like a peel. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you. When a person make uh, a bonot, he brings peels on himself that we have to come with a knife and to peel it out. It's painful. Yeah. That's why after you leaving this world, the angels come to ask you your name. Why does he interested in our name? If we know our name, meaning we kept it Kodesh. You remember. The Rishayim will not remember. I don't know what is my name. I'm sorry, Rabbi, what does that mean? You kept it Kodesh? Can you explain again? What does that mean? It means I kept it always in the side of the holiness. Okay, thank you. What happened in Mitzrayim? The Jewish people didn't change their names, meaning they wanted to say to stay holy. There is a very interesting Gemara. The Gemara says, Rameir, meaning Rameir Balanes. So the, the Gemara is saying that they're coming to hotel and he wanted to keep his money by, by the owner of the hotel, but then he's asking him, what is your name? And he's a goy. He told me my name is Kido. Kido. He looked at him and says, Okay, I'll keep the money myself. Why? There is a verse in the Torah it says, Kido Tapuchot Emma. This Kido is Tapuchot. Do you know what? Mapecha? Means revolution. 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 And the number of Kido is 240. Amalek also is 240. So a male, right away, he say his name is have the numbers of Amalek. And he is a goy. So he shows himself very nicely, polite, but when he'll get my money, who knows what you're gonna do to me? I'm not gonna take any chances over here. Now, 
What is the name of Amalek? It's a name. Amalek. What's the letter there? No? Let's see how good you are. What's I don't understand the question. What's the letters? What's the letters? Amalek. Okay. Don't forget, okay? Ayn Mem Lamed Kuf. How do you write Akum? What is Akum? Ayn Crooked. Crooked. Ayn Kuf Mem. Ayn Kuf Mem. Akum. Akam, Akum. Lakem. Meaning Amalek is crooked. <laughs> Welcome to America. Okay, everything is akum. Everything. Why is he against us? Because we are Israel, we are Yashar. Israel is Yun Yud Shin Resh. Mother Yud Shin Resh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Amalek is what? Crooked. Crooked. Akum. Akum. So it doesn't go together. They will always fight. The Shaman Street? Yes. Rimoy, in your language. <laughs> Amalek is 240, right? Yes. Do you know what Mar means? Bitter? Mar? Mar. I mean, Memresh? Yeah. Memresh. Bitter. Bitter, right? What's the number of Mar? Mem is 40, Resh is. Resh is 200. 240, yeah, 240. Amalek is bitter. He'll make your life bitter. Everything with his, in his name, you can find everything what you want. Where is it coming from? Why he feels that he, he wants to rule the world? from the word Ram. What is Ram? Ram 240, because I have it in my notes. Yes, we said we went over that yesterday. Yeah. Good. Gaava, Ram is Gaava, no? Yeah, so the Gaava bring you to bitterness. Mm -hmm. Let's go to root for a second. The Midrash is saying what the person have to do in this world, his mission is with his name. You hear me? Example, who was the husband to Naomi? Ali Melech. Very good. What does it mean? Eli Melech. me. I'm going to be the king. Or if you're not going to make it, Lo Melech. You're not a king. You're not a king. Elimelech. You can take it here or you can take it there. Depends. Elimelech. 
he lost it. What was the name of his two boys? Who went to Yeshiva over here? Machlon and Kilion. Machlon and Kilion. Very good. The two good. Moras. <laughs> One second. What does it mean, Machlon? Machala. No. Machloket, Rabbi, it's fighting. Imach. Erased? Erased. Machlon, Imach, like we're saying. Limchok. Erased. Machlon ve kilion. Maze kilayon? The Hebrew speakers? Kilia. Kilia. Kilayon. Kilayon. Lechalot. Maze? Lechalot. Meaning what? To destroy. Destroy. So Hashem already, in their name, in their name, already we knew what's going to happen. One Hashem will wipe out of here, will erase him, and the other one will waffleize. Rav, can I ask a question? One second. I'm not done yet. But what is the positive side of Machlon and Chilion in their name? Machlon Milashon Mechila. Yes. Memchet Lamet. Machal. Bechilion. I'm serving Hashem Ad Kelot Anefesh. Meaning I'm giving myself to Hashem until my last breath that I have. Meaning these two names can go extremist to this side or can be very good in this side. The kids that you have at home Every name that you give, either this child will fulfill the potential in the side of the Kedusha, from the side of the Kedusha, or he will use the name If he'll get stuck in the middle, he will wind, he will wind up in the psychiatric couch. How many people today you see, they're saying, I have to search for myself. I, have to, I feel I'm not accomplished. I'm, all her life she gonna say. So, whatever I'm telling you that it's a character of a child, and we're going to continue now, I have to do some introduction to show you from the Torah that this is not a joke. Far away from being a joke. I like the name. I connected to the name. Lilach, Limor, Aliam, Shemot, no, no meaning. Rabbi, Liam is not a Jewish name? Liam? Yeah. What is this? Liam is where? 
לאן is where, אוקיי? מה זה לי עם? Something about a nation. I have a nation. My, my sea? Yeah. Yam is a sea, no? No, Am, Am, Am. Am Israel. Am, like, Am Arat, yeah. Am. Yeah. Transliterated from an English name of Liam. I don't know what it is. What's she going to be? An, a nation? But how do you get through to the youth, Rav? The youth doesn't understand. It's the name that, I, like you said, it's the name that I like, but they don't know the repercussions of the name. So how do you get through to them? When you very much, particular, not to call them any English names. Well, Baruch Hashem, like they, they give Hebrew names too, but they don't acknowledge the Hebrew you as much as they do. Said, they give Hebrew names too. Right. Oh, but they don't call Jewish name. They just go according to Liam, to the first name. But if they have only Jewish name, what is your name? Yaakov. Right. So the child, he grows up, he, he sees that he'll accept it. But Rabbi, how do you bring it to the youth, the way Sia mentioned, to the people who are not religious and they don't, don't acknowledge the first name to be Hebrew? Not religious, what can I do with them? This is a separate item by himself. I'll take care of them. I'm okay. talking now to us. We, we're claiming that we're religious. We're claiming, at least we're claiming. Rabbi, Liam is a boy's name or a girl's name? UFOs. Boys, right? She's a UFO. <laughs> U UFO, okay. Unidentified object. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Rabbi, I see some Israelis name uh, is Ram. Yeah, so it's not scary. Okay. Let's start with the names and let's go back to the character, okay? I want you to know what you have in your homes, a treasure. Every child is a treasure. Every child is a treasure. They can be big stuff, and if the parents don't know what they're doing, and the first thing that they do after they're born, we're giving them a name. We born of Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Right away after birth, they're calling me up. Huh? I just gave birth and I hear the baby, you know, in the delivery room. What we gonna call her or what we gonna call him? Okay. So you can see already it's in our, it's calling for a name. The Neshama needs a name. So let's go with youth now. We are at youth. We were actually Rabbi Chet, right? Did no. we finish with Chet? No, we finished with Chet. Finish. Test, Rabbi. Test. I don't know if the Rabbi has Chia on his list. I don't, I assume not. Chia, though, I don't have because <laughs> I'll tell you that the truth. It's a name that today people will not call him. I know. And the Chazonish said, oh, that you don't call the child a name. I, I can't hear. 
that he'll be embarrassed from him. I love it. It's Rabbi Chia Gadol. So. Okay, good. Good. Said it. But I think you are the only one that I know so far that have this name. That's how all the yeshiva remember me. <laughs> Baba, what name is that? That's very smart. <laughs> Baba, what name is that? Chia, Chia. Why would somebody be embarrassed, Baba? You know, you 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 can hear that so many kids saying to the parents, "Why do you call me this name? I hate this name." I see. <laughs> Let's go to youth. Let's start with the men, and then I'll go to the ladies. Of course, Yair. And anybody here with with this name? Yes, Rabbi. Yes. I know yeah, a Rav. Rav ah. I know my cousin is a rabbi. His name is Rav Yair. I'm talking about the 114 <laughs> telephones here now. Yeah, I know a very good person like that. Is anybody over here called his boy Yair? Yes. I'll skip it. Can you please mute? I'll unmute yourself, please. Too much baby noise. Anybody here calls his boy Yigal? We want to know that name, Rabbi. We have a rabbi. Yeah. yeah. We want to know. <laughs> You really yeah. want to know about you, Rabbi. We want to know. Smart, you know. smart, handsome. None <laughs> of the other. Okay, so I'll tell you what my parents did. Somebody just texted saying that there is Yair in the in this chat. In this group. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the chat box. Okay, I don't see it, but uh, okay. I, I don't know what, what happened to my Tivia, yeah. Tivia. My screen, I don't know. Yeah, it's from Tivia. She said there is a Yair by her. Okay. Yair is a person with a Segel Yashar, meaning his brain is Yashar. He has a very, very sensible ideas very delicate, spoiled, trustworthy, and he has Mesirut Nefesh. He, when he does something, he goes extra mileage. He likes peace and quiet. He put a lot of effort and is very responsible. Don't like to be in the front pages. All the time he's asking questions and requests. Shyful. He likes a charity. And he is doing good deeds. That's Yair. You can see it's a, it's a cocktail over here. Complicated. Depends now what you're going to emphasize and what you, you're going to, to, to neglect. I'm going to Egal, a person with a lot of talent. Wherever he goes, people, people get very close to him because he has 
because he showed that he is Baal Chesed. His crown is Chesed and Rachamim. He starts with the youth. He shows that he is very simple, humble, and modest. Whatever he will take into his hand, he will be successful. But there is one problem over here. His friends are jealous at him. And whatever he will turn, wherever he will be, will always be successful. Okay. And he's a good listener. It's not on my list. <laughs> But it, it's true. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. When, when you listen to other people, you're doing chesed shebe goof. Sometimes you can sit for half an hour, an hour, sometimes even for two hours, just to listen. That's yes. a big, it's a big chesed. God bless you, Rav. All the thank you you give to my wife and to my mother. That's it. They should be healthy. I am the product of these two people, two ladies. Otherwise, who knows with my ambitions when I will wind up? Maybe on stage? <laughs> Maybe in Broadway? I don't know. Thank you, being yourself. I took it to, into the Tzad of the Kodesh and that's what happened. You kids have the same thing. Every kid of yours have these abilities. Just have to exercise it. You have to get out of the mentality over here that he must be this and he must be that. He must be that. First of all, he must be a mensch. Make him a Ben Adam. He's a person you can talk to about Chesed. He cares for people. Then he will learn whatever he needs to learn. He will learn. But to put a child in a place, Bechlan, there's a public school, or co-ed, co a school and this. What are you doing? What are you expecting out of this child? His name is Kodesh. His name is Holy. We destroying the Neshamot. Let me tell you something. Every time I'm going to, to visit my father in, in the cemetery, I have one thing to say. Thank you very much. I don't know even what to do, that you had the sechel, the brain, to send us to Yeshivot Akdoshot. Since I was a child, I went only to Yeshiva Black. And we lived in a place, all the lefties were there. No Shabbat, no Shum Davar, no Kippur. We were the only one among who knows how many people. But my parents, they had a brain to send us to Yeshiva.
He saved us. He saved us. Where did they have this? To send us, he could have sent us to a school, you know, got a half and half kazi. Black, white, since I was a child. Leo. You were in Yerushalayim, Rabbi? I, I did not have this, the Zechut. My brothers, yes. I already was born in Tel Aviv, Bar Minan. The worst place to be. The midst of the Tuma, midst of the impurity. Why did they move there? My Prepare. father had a store there. So he wanted to live next to the store so he don't have to travel. Right. And they were looking for a yeshiva that, that should be close. And the yeshiva was in the midst of the action. I don't know who made this brain. Okay. That's what you have to do to your kids. Hopefully, you're going to do it. Hopefully. Bezad Hashem. Yay. There is a name, Yedidia. Anybody else? He'll call his child Yedidia? Okay. Yes. Every edik in Russian is Yedidia? Edik? Edik. Fine. It's a frying usually. Wouldn't it be a manual? Edik is a frying. A frying. Edik, I think it's a frying, no? Yeah. yeah, Rob, that's what you told me. Some people, it's a manual. <laughs> Let's go to Yehuda. Anybody here? Yes. yes. Yehuda. Yes. First of all, his name is, he has the name of Hashem in his name. This person can go very, very high in the spiritual world. But from the other side, if he's not there, he will be who knows where. All the desires of this world will be there. He likes to be in charge. He is a leader. A clever one. And he is able to force his ideas on other people. Very, very, he has a lot of self-confidence. If he has a goal, nothing will move him away from the goal until he will reach it. When he decided, he doesn't consider anybody else. You're not existing. This is the goal, that's it. He's chasing after justice. He wants justice. And he very much likes to be royal. 
he will dress accordingly, who will behave accordingly. So all the Yehudas that you have in your house, keep an eye on them. They can be big people. Leaders. Yes. Rabbi, is David and Yehuda almost the same character? How about the Ari Yehuda? Same thing. The same character, yes? Thank you, Rabbi. Usually the Bukharim call him Yehuda Ari. Yeah, but my kids, they call him Ari Yehuda. Okay. Because the Torah says, Go Ariye Yehuda. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Yonatan. Anybody here? My nephew. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jonathan and Yehonatan is the same? Yehonatan, yes. Okay, thank you. Yonatan is a person, a wise one. Very much balance. He thinks before he talks. And is Sechel Yashar. His brain is straight. But is very critical. He likes to criticize everybody. This is no good. This is just good. Very polite. Al Chesed. Has mercy on other people. He will go extra mileage. Very much likes, don't like to be in the front page. He always like to be, you know, unnoticeable. But he always have to fight with himself because he have power like Dusha and he has a power also to not Kedusha. So he has a, he, he is in a constant struggle. Very ambitious. No compromise by him. No compromise. But always Besimcha. Very mixed, very mixed. Meaning it can go either way. About Yoshua, anybody here? I have Ethan Yoshua. Ethan Yoshua? I'm sorry, was Yona skipped? Yona, not yet. Thank you. So, so Rabbi Yona and Yonatan are two different names, right? Two different meanings. Two different names. Okay. Is is Yeshua Yeshayahu? Same? No. What what? Yeshayahu is that no, the same? No. Yeshua is Yeshua. Yeshayahu is Yeshua. Is Yeshua Joshua? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, can I ask if we have anybody here that call is a son Yoshua? Yes, yes. Yoshua. Yes. Sanua meaning modest and humble. From the Shamaim is blessed. Whatever he'll touch, he'll be successful. But he likes to be alone. As we say, it bodedut. 
he don't like to associate, he likes the corner, leave me alone. He has chesed and rachamim, and he will go for you, offer himself extra mileage, which we call mesirut nefesh. That's Yoshua. Rob, when you said he's spoiled, did you mean for spirituality? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It goes either way, if not here, so. Any name that I missed in youth? Guys, one by one, please. Yes, yes, sir. It goes according to the alphabet. I'm now in Yud Vav. Yes, sir. Yud Vav. So we start with Yohanan. Yohanan. Yes. Yohanan is a fast man, very, as we say in, in Russia, we say Shustri, very deep, responsible, very curious. But he doesn't talk. And he is not revealing any secrets. If you talk to him, it goes in, never come out. He likes to help other people, but he is also stubborn, very stubborn. Rabbi, how come he can, he likes to talk, but he doesn't reveal anything? He doesn't like to talk. Shatkan. Shabbat He doesn't like to talk. His wife will have a tough time if he didn't work on himself. He doesn't like to talk. He is very good for espionage. Hmm. Will be fair, will be very good. He'll keep quiet. But like Rav said, if he grows up in a home where the family, the parents work on him and they teach him, and Erbal Chesed, wouldn't that rub off on the child and affect him in a positive way? So when you know the character of the child, so now you have to start to to work on things that you know that this character needs work. Why do you think I'm doing all this? I want you to start to work on the character of your kids. Right. Thank you very much, Ruth. Thank you. Rabbi, the name Joseph. Was Joseph. Joseph is the next one. Rabbi, the name was Yohanan? The name Yohanan. Thank you. Joseph. Rabbi, do you have Yom Tov? Huh? Yom Tov? Yom Tov? Yes. Not on my list. Because it's not a common name. Okay, thank you. Yes, Yosef. We have Yosef. Yosef, yes. First of all, every name that starts with the youth is very, in potential is very close to Hashem. He is his appearance is like a king, you know. He shows authority. Authority. He has a Rachamaim. 
from the Shamayim that protect them from Ainara. I'm sorry, Rav. What does he have? I missed it. He got Shamayim and from the Shamayim that protect them from Ainara. A very modest person. Everybody loves him. What's the name again? Yosef. 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 Oh, Yosef. Very responsible. Very responsible. And he likes to, wherever he goes, people get glued to him because they see the chesed on his face. Like Yosef Atzali, huh? Yep. Everybody over here call his uh, child uh, Yechezkel. Uh, so Rabbi, oh. Rabbi, I have a question. My son's is, name is Yosef Yaakov. We'll get to Yaakov behind soon enough. Anybody has a name, Yechiel? Yechiel, no? Yes, 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 Yechiel. Yes? Yes. Yechiel, he likes to be a leader. What? Yechiel likes to... Yechiel likes to... He's asking if it's similar to Brachiel. No, no, no. This is starting with Bet. This is starting with Yud. He likes to be a leader. He has a lot of self-confidence. Very fast and very sharp. But the public always will criticize him. He likes to help other people and he doesn't trust anybody easily. Very suspicious. So how you can lead if you're suspicious? <coughs> so imagine a parent have a child whose name is Yechiel, which is a good name. But now you have to teach this uh, the child. Uh, that some, we have to, you have to build up a trust. Okay, I assume that nobody here have a name Enon. Yanir. We have Rabbi, we have. My son. You have? Yanon, Yonatan, Rabbi. Yanon, Yonatan. Okay, Enon. Very understanding. Everything he weighs kind of logically. His brain is very straight. You can trust this child and he's very dedicated to his job or if, if it's studying, he's dedicated. But he don't know what compromise means. Meaning either his way or you take the highway. He is chasing after justice. When he deciding, nobody will move him. But you can count on him. That's Enon. 
Anybody here call his son Yaniv? Good. Yaakov. Oh, I was about to ask you about Yaakov. <laughs> Yaakov. This person have Din and Rachamim. From, from one side is, and from the other side, merciful. Rabbi, what if he has two names, Yaakov Binyamin? We'll get, so take Binyamin, which I said, and now you add this one, and you have a child with multi character. <laughs> one name I think with, all, with all this I think one name is more than plenty for a child I think two it's like you're I don't know <laughs> that's what happens when the it's very, the it's very the easy to get angry <laughs> and very easy to calm down he knows how to keep secrets very polite He likes to learn Torah. Ah, here we go. He likes the yeshiva. Each time Yoshev or Alim. He likes yeshiva. Let him sit and learn. Stubborn. Akshan. When he has something over here, nobody will move him. He said, this is how I hold. That's what I hold. And that's it. Humble and Sanua and modest. He likes to go into the depth of the Torah. Always helping others and very responsible. So, also, it's a mixture, very interesting one. Very interesting. And the parents, okay, they have a job to do. Uh, okay, I have to stop here because my time is up. We'll continue tomorrow with Yitzhak, Emil Sajem, and then we'll move to the ladies. Rabbi, Rabbi. I'm sorry, when you did uh, the Aleph, you said that you don't have Elishev and you're going to get back to us about that. I have to get to it because I'm still on these names. You know, I have... What about Ruven? Ruven, you have to wait. Habibi, it's not the end. Okay. Rabbi, 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 Yona. What? How about Yona? Yona. Yona, not on my list because it it can go to a man and a female. How about Israel? Who? Israel. Israel will come tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, Rob, is it better to just name a child with one name? And why do people do two names? Some, so of, <laughs> some of them even having three names. Yeah, we have three names. One okay, with good. Two. But why? Why? Not, because it's opening up more channels. Is it good or is it not so good? It's good. It's good. When, my, when my daughter was born, Raph told us to name her two names. So she has yeah, three yeah. yeah. Rabbi, can you please explain about Yona? You said it could be a male and female, but it's usually a boy's name, no? Not by the, you know, by, by the uh, people who came from Greek and Turkey. They, they calling a girl, Yona. Hmm. Like Simcha. But isn't, but isn't the definition of Yona is also a bird? Yeah. Okay. So... The name Simcha, also it can be for a boy or it can be for a girl. Yes. 
Yona is the same thing. He can be a male and he can be female. Okay. We'll get to it. It's okay. Rabbi, I'm sorry. When you were doing Aleph, you said you're going to look into Elishava. Did you have a chance? I answered already. I said I need time to do yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Thank, Thank you, Rabbi. Rabbi. Thank you, 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, Rabbi. Good night. I'll be praying for you on my Thank Jewish you. birthday. Thank you. <laughs>